Hey guys, um, so Easter is less than a week away now and I wanted to just make a little video of what I'm getting my kids for Easter. Um, I'm not sure that I'm gonna get this video up in time before Easter, but um, maybe for next year, you guys can keep this in mind or if you're doing a belated Easter or I don't know, or maybe you have a kid's birthday coming up, maybe this video would be helpful for you. Um, so I'm just gonna let you know. It's not that much, because it is just Easter. Just um, in case you didn't know or you're new to my channel, my son, my oldest son, Grayson, is about to be three. Um, he'll be three a week after um, Easter. And then my second son, Porter, he just turned six months old. So those are the age ranges that I was buying for for Easter. So I have my boys' Easter baskets here. Here. I had to get a new one for Porter because this is his first Easter. So this is Grayson's Easter basket. I want to say both of these are from Lily and Vernon, but I'm not sure. I know Porter's is because I just ordered it, um, but I don't know about this one because my mom actually got this one for Grayson. So it has his little name on the ear. I thought it was super cute. It's Easter, like bunny themed, super cute. And then this is Porter's. Um, I like the, how they're different um, just because unique um, and so again I went with the bunny theme and it has his name on it but for each boy I got a pair of sunglasses Meyer was actually doing a like buy one get one half off deal or something on all their sunglasses and so I got these for the boys since it's um, gonna be summer soon it's gonna be sunny I had little kid sunglasses for Grayson when he was little because we went to Cancun when he was like seven months old but I cannot remember where what I did with those sunglasses so I got a new pair I got one for Gray because he doesn't have a pair that fits him right now and then I got one for Porter so they can be stylish this summer um, Gray is always looking at Anthony's sunglasses and he thinks they're so cool he always wants to wear them and these look just like Anthony's sunglasses so I think he's gonna be really pumped to wear them and hopefully Porter will keep this on his face and not rip them off we'll see but it does say zero to three ages on this so he can grow into them and then this one is three to six so they'll last the boys a while as long as I don't lose them <laughs> Also, while I was looking at the sunglasses at Meyer. Um, they were doing Dr. Seuss books. I guess it was like his birthday recently or not too long ago. And so all of the books they had out on like this little display and they were like half price or super cheap. I think each book was like $3 or something. Very, very cheap because they were like celebrating his birthday. So they were like, buy books whatever. Um, obviously these aren't the band books, um, but uh, Gray loves Dr. Seuss books um, and we don't have these. This is Dr. Seuss Colors and Dr. Seuss 1, 2, 3. So I think Gray would really like them. I'm going to put one in each boy's um, basket. I know Porter can't really read, but I could read to him and just keep it even, I guess. Um, but eventually, I mean, Grayson's really going to just go to these, but I think Gray will be super pumped about these. I had to include a book, of course. For Grayson's basket, I got him one of these. He loves these um, Imagine Ink um, where the marker only works on these papers. You could draw on anything else and it won't show up, which I love. And then he just loves, and these ones are colors and shapes. I think I got this in like the um, dollar bin at Target. Yeah, it was $3 in the Target dollar spot. So I think he'll really enjoy playing with these. The only problem with these markers is Grayson won't ever put the cap back on after he uses them. So I have to keep an eye on it. Otherwise the markers will just dry out. So he likes these and then he also likes the I don't know what they're called, but you use water and it creates an image. He likes those too. For Porter's Easter basket, I got him just a bunch of teether-like foods. These actually were on um, sale. I got them on clearance. Um, they're banana with pumpkin flavor. Um, he's just getting bigger and I think he would enjoy like teething on these. Um, it says crawler. He's about to crawl, so I think he'll be able to enjoy these really soon, so I just got those for him. Of course, in Easter baskets, you have to have candy because it's Easter. Um, even sweeter, Anthony and I give up uh, candy for Lent, and Lent ends on Easter, so I'm probably going to be eating this candy just as much as Grayson is, but for both of the boys' baskets, I got them these Reese's Pieces eggs. 
these are like my childhood. Like I, when I think of Easter, I think of these eggs. Like they were always in my Easter basket. They are so good. They're the Reese's Pieces candies, which are so good. And they're Easter egg shaped. So good. Target was selling them for a dollar. So I got one for each. Gray will eat them. Obviously Porter won't, but I'll eat them for him. <laughs> I was just trying to keep it even. I don't know. Also like in the back of the store, Target had like these Skittles. I think they were a dollar each too. And they're just like, uh, Skittles, but they're an egg shaped. I know Gray would really like it. I love Skittles. That's my favorite candy. So one for Porter, but I'll be eating that. <laughs> Last thing I got um, was just these um, fruit snacks. I don't really do fruit snacks very much with the boys. Greg gets a gummy vitamin every morning and he loves them. I'm just not sure how healthy uh, fruit snacks are, so I don't buy them very often, but these were super cute. Um, they're Annie's, which are kind of on the healthier side, and then they are um, Easter shaped, so they are like Easter eggs, Easter bunny, carrots, flowers, so I know Gray will really like this. Again, Porter, can't eat it, sorry Porter. But uh, Gray will like these. Um, so I just wanted something that wasn't, that was edible, that like wasn't candy. <laughs> so anyway, that's all that I have in my boys' Easter baskets. It's not super, you know, it's not a ton, but then again, it is Easter. And um, Easter is a week before Grayson's birthday. So I didn't want to get too much because Grayson's already going to get a bunch of toys on his birthday. But I just wanted to share with you guys what I'm getting the boys for Easter. I don't think I'm going to be hiding Grayson's Easter basket. I'm obviously not going to hide Porter's, but I don't think Grayson really would understand. I mean, maybe if I hit it somewhere obvious and I had him search, but I think I could still just put the Easter baskets out in the morning and have Grayson see it sitting there with like a bunch of gifts and he would still be like super pumped about it. So I might just leave the baskets out. Um, I've been like, I took them, I brought these Easter baskets out so Greg could like see them and I'm trying to explain to him like the Easter Bunny's gonna come and he's gonna put candy in them but he doesn't really understand it that much. So I think he'll be excited on Easter morning like when he sees the Easter baskets. I'm also planning on doing like um, Easter eggs and putting them all about all around our yard. We went to uh, Easter egg hunt in our neighborhood. It was on a vlog that I posted not too long ago. And Gray loved it, and so I figured if I did one in our own backyard, he would be the only one getting the eggs so he could like take his time. And um, I just need to go and buy like some candy to put in the eggs, so I think he would really enjoy that. So it's gonna be a really fun Easter. Every year that Gray gets older and more into it, it's super enjoyable to see. So um, I'll definitely vlog Easter, um, but yeah, I just wanted to get this video up and show you guys what I'm getting my kids for Easter. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. Like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.